kiddos welcome to this week's homework where we are looking at surface area now you'll notice that i preloaded formulas and numbers in here just to cut down on the video time um, because i want to be able to focus on what we are doing and not you watching me write a bunch of stuff down so all of these formulas are on your formula sheet if you have any questions about where to find them, they're in the classroom. If you can't find them, please let me know. And with that, we're gonna start with looking at just the area of the quadrilaterals. So for most of these, our formula is the basic length times width. So if we're looking at the square, area equals two times two, area equals four meters squared. Over here, area equals length times width, which is eight times 12, which gives us 96 yards squared. Down here, area equals length times width, which is 14 times nine. 14 times nine gives us 126 feet squared. Over here, this is a special case because it's a trapezoid. We can't do length times width because our lengths and widths are not all matches. So we have A plus B, this is A, this is B. So seven plus 13 divided by two, seven plus 13 is 20, half of 20 is 10. 10 times 11 gives us 110 inches squared. Down here, back to the standard length times width, 20 times 17 gives us 340 millimeters squared. Last one on this page, length times width is six times six, which is 36 centimeters squared. Any questions on these kiddos? Bring them with you to class. All right, continuing to follow along on the area. This time looking at the area of a triangle. Formula for this is one half base times height. So 15 times 20 is 300. Half of that is 150 inches squared. Over here, five times eight is 40. One half of 40 is 20. This is 20 feet squared. Coming down here, one half base times height. It ends up being four times six. Half of 24 is 12 meters squared. Over here, one half base times height. We do 11 times 44, or I'm sorry, 11 times 14 which gives us 154, half of that is 77 centimeters squared. Coming down to the bottom two, one half base times height, which gives us 16 times 19, taking half of that is 152 kilometers squared. Last one for this page, 12 times 12 gives us 144, half of that is 72 yards squared. Again, the first two pages are just straightforward area. Any questions, bring them with you to class. All right, here comes our first actual surface area where we're looking at not quite the surface area yet, but the area of two spaces or compound shapes. So for this one, we're looking for the amount that is shaded, which means we need to find the area of the trapezoid using our formula. So we're going to do 16 plus 32 cut it in half, times it by 26. That gives us 624. Then we need to figure out the area of the rectangle. So we have length times width, 15 times seven gives us 105. Then we need to subtract, excuse me, 624, which is the total shaded area minus the piece that is white. This gives us a shaded area of 519 centimeters squared. Here we're looking at the total shape. So first we need to figure out the area of the rectangle. So it's 20 times eight, which is 160 inches squared. And then we go up to our triangle, one half base times height. This looks like it's missing, but really it's the same length. That's our eight. So eight and three is 24, half of 24 is 12. Add our two pieces together, 160 plus 12 gives us a total of 170 inches squared. So again, find the area of the rectangle, find the area of the triangle, add them together. All right, this is one of the shaded. So the shaded area or the rectangle, length times width is 108. Find the area of your triangle. So one half base times height, four times seven 
is 28. Half of that is 14. So we get 108 minus 14. Our shaded area is 94 feet squared. Again, we take the rectangle minus our triangle gives us our total shaded. Coming down here, one more shaded. Length times width. So 23 times 19 gives us a total area of 437, but 81 of it is this square in the middle. 437 minus 81 gives us a total of 356 meters squared that is actually shaded. Last one here, do our rectangle first. 21 times 10 is 210 kilometers squared. Going over to our triangle, which is 22 times 10 cut in half which is 110. If we add them together, 210 plus 110 gives us 310 kilometers squared total. That takes us to the end of the area. Any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. Page four, we're getting into the land of surface area. This is hard because you're having to flip these over in your brain and make sure that you truly understand all the different pieces. So when we are doing the surface area of a rectangular prism, we're multiplying two times the length, which is this, the width, and the height. So we pair them up. Length times width, 9 times 3 is 27. Length times height, 9 times 3 is 27. Width times height, 3 times 3 is 9. If we do 27 plus 27 plus 9, we times that by 2, we get a total of 126 centimeters squared total surface area. So that is the two squares and the four rectangles. Coming over here to the land of trapezoidal prism. This is not for the weak at heart. This one was big. So first we need to find the LSA, the lateral surface area by doing A and see I have them all labeled A, plus B, plus C, plus D. So six, and I'm getting that from right here, plus six, plus 11, plus seven. We're gonna multiply that by the length. When we do that, six plus six plus 11 plus seven equals 30 times 15. That gives us a lateral surface area of 450. We're gonna plug it in over here. B plus D or base times depth. Base is 11, depth is seven, that's 18. 18 times four, which is the height is 72, plus 450 gives us 522 yards squared total. Questions on this, bring them to class. That was a really big stretch. Back to the land of quads and rectangles. This one is pretty easy because all of the faces are the same. So we can do our length, times width, which gives us four. And how many are there? There's six of them. Think of how many numbers there are on a dice. Six times four is 24, 24 meters squared. Over here, we're gonna go back to that original equation, two times the length times the width, the length times the height, and the width times the height. Everybody gets to meet up. Label your length, width, and height. Length times width is 112. Length times height is 154. Width times height is 88. Multiply that by two. So 112 plus 154 plus 88 times two. That gives me 708 kilometers squared. Two more on this page. This is a word problem. It says Erin needs to send a package to her friend Angela. The box is a rectangular prism that is two inches wide, four inches long, and has a 10 inch height. Using our formula, again, where everybody gets paired up, I labeled W, L, and H. W times L, or 4 times 2 is 8. Length times height is 40. Width times height is 20. So I do 40 plus 8 is 48 plus 20. Gives me 68. Double it, 136 inches squared. Last one over here is talking about a cube. So I'm going to multiply the sides, 5 times 5, and then do that times 6 because there's 6 faces. 25 times 6 gives me 150 feet squared. Questions on this? Bring them with you to class. 
All right, Nuggets, last one, surface area, including triangular prisms and pyramids. We need to really understand the faces. So this is four triangular faces. If you imagine having this in your hand, you're going to have a base, which is our length times width. It's a square on the bottom. And then we have four triangular faces. So I'm going to use the area of the triangle, one half base times height, but I need four of them because I need each face. So four times two is eight. Half of that is four. Four times four, because there's four of them, is 16. Two times two is four, so add four more. This gives me 20 meters squared for my total surface area. Over here, I have two triangles. I have two rectangles that are 10 by six, and I have one rectangle on the bottom that is 10 times three. So 10 times six, I'm going to have two of them. 10 times three, I'm going to have one of them. 3 times 5 is 15. Half of that is 7.5, but I have two of them, so 15 for here. 10 times 6 is 60. We have two of them, 120. 10 times 3 is 30. Adding up my pieces, 120 plus 30 is 150 plus 15 gives me 165 inches squared in total. Down here, Back to my pyramid, I have four triangular bases and a, or faces and a square base. Eight and eight is 64, that gives me my square. Eight times seven gives me my triangles, 56. Half of 56 gives me 28, but I have four of them. 28 times four for all the faces is 112, plus 64 gives me 176 kilometers squared. Over here, two triangular faces, front and back, one half, seven times eight, two rectangles that are 12 by nine, right here, one rectangle on the bottom that is seven by 12. So I have seven times eight, cut it in half, but I have two of them, so it's 56. Oh, lost my pen, 56, there we go. 12 times 9 is 108. I have two of them, 216 for that piece. And then 7 times 12, 84. Add up my bases and faces, 84 plus 216 plus 56, 356 yards squared. Two more. Tried to sketch this one out for you, but you guys know that drawing is not my strength. So just imagine that this triangular prism looks just like this guy. So we have two of our triangular faces. Nine times six gives us 54. Since there's two, we're not going to cut them in half. We have one length times width, which is nine times 14. Gives us 126. I can't stop laughing at my drawing. And then 14 times 11 is 154, but we have two of them, 308. Add all of our bases and faces, 308 plus 54 plus 126 gives us 488, and that is feet squared. Last one, square pyramid. I did not bother drawing this one. We have four square faces, one base. This is going to be 49. That's our squared bottom. Seven times nine is 63. We're going to multiply that by two, gives us 126, add it to 49, add all of our bases and faces. We have 175 centimeters squared. I know this unit was big and meaty. If you have questions, bring them with you to class. Have a good weekend, Mo.